hi my youtube family welcome welcome back to my youtube channel but this evening is gonna be a different it's not about bev brown it's all about miss bev production who is miss bev production okay sometimes in life people don't good for you and you're the person coming from way back and in society they're getting higher and higher and higher in society and you know well educated and so on and maybe because you're not educated or anything like that you're just doing your thing you know you have some people look down on you and not talk with you you know because they tell themselves they are more qualified than you so they cannot sit with you because there was days you go to church you see teachers sit Teacher and teacher sit in the same row, doctor, nurses and teachers and, you know, like the dom domestic helpers or these workers or ordinary worker, factory worker people sit together. Those were the days. In this time, it still happened, but not so like back then. So what I'm trying to put across now, Miss Bev production. Yes, I know Miss Bev for many years at Duncan's. Yes, we used to go to the same church, Duncan's SDA Church. Yes, Miss Bev, no, those days, you see, Miss Bev still smiling, that's how she is. But once you see Miss Bev, she's all laughing. I never see her a sad moment after yet. No, I, I've never witnessed her being sad, puffed up. No, she, as uh, she see you coming, she's laughing. Yeah, that's her with her two cute dimple here. Yeah, man, those days now she was slim and trim. Yeah, man. And then tell you know, you look at her like me now, that's a, the, the, she's a, the, the upper class type. Because she was so well dressed, well put together, you know. Yeah, just like how you see her, that's how she is. Yeah, and her auntie was Aunt Judith. We call her Miss Bev Aunt, Aunt Judith. Yes, yeah, so we always be by Aunt Judith. Me and my sister, my sister and Aunt Judith, Miss Bev um, Aunt was best friend, yeah. They were two best friends, move like two sisters. So any little thing would be there. Any problem would be there. Aunt Judith was like a family counselor. Yes, any little thing she'd come and you come to her and she sit and she listen attentively. And in any way she can assist, she assists. And she was a dental nurse. She wasn't proud either. She was done to hurt. All her uh, Miss Bev family at that time know they are well educated, but they are not proud. I know her uncle Carol, he was a teacher, a Judith dental nurse, and her brother, who is a teacher also, which Miss Bev is a teacher also. And they are not proud. And God bless those type of people who do, they don't put prof profession, their, their profession above people. They are just done to hurt because I know many that I and them went to school together and when they like see me downtown or so it's like they not see me because they drive car or they in a good job and so so I, I'm not qualified to talk with them. You understand? Yeah, that, that's what I'm getting across. So and Judith was so done to hurt. She was a dental nurse and when my teeth want to clean and I went to her, she gave me my appointment and I went and the and she did my teeth for me, clean my teeth. Yeah, man, and we always be by her house. And um, Miss Bev was an excellent singer back then. And it's F SDA choir, Duncan's SDA choir. Yeah, man, and when she ready, she go and sing by herself. Yeah, man, she's a songbird, yeah? So, eventually, we left Duncan's. And Miss Bev used to go to Canada and spend this summer. Sometimes she went for summer and so on and so forth. Until we eventually left. Duncan, so that's how we separated. But I always seek out and I heard that she's abroad and you know, she didn't have my number and what eventually just the other day we get connected back to my sister because she and my sister connected and from that now she seek out and find me and see that I'm YouTube and supported my my channel from I just started. Yeah, she was there with me and encourages me encourages me. Yeah, so what I'm um big up yourself every time it's with production and although she have her thing going on youtube she still asks her subscriber to up over my page and to support me which i really appreciated her and appreciated those who have supported me from miss bev production channels yes 
so what I'm trying to say now I have a project that was going that because I'm not working the project was giving me a hard time and it was stressing me out and I just came and I just advised said to me just video the thing and send to Miss Bev production and I was kind of scared but I did it and I sent it to her now. When I sent out the video, I was trying to delete it. But because I was saying, Lord, man, I kind of feel embarrassed and so on. And I tried to delete the video so many times. And it wouldn't be, get, like, would delete out of my phone. And I said, all right, let God work. And it, when Miss Bev got it and so on, she called me. And I, we talked on the phone. And, you know, I explained certain things and so on. I asked her to put it out for me. And she put it out. And not only asked for help for Bev Brown, she take out, out of her hard work work working money and send to me and her husband and her children yeah and her brother also she tell them everything and they send and my project finalize and i give god thanks and i give miss Bev production thanks i appreciated everything that she did for me and are still doing so the other day when i was at my sister i didn't have any internet her husband died and i was over there and it's not easy to tap up your phone and you're not working out here because if you put on a thousand dollar credit on it it can only give you one it can't give you two two days two weeks plan no can't give you can, um, one week plan is for 800 and hard so you see the thousand could not last long yeah and if you want to put on one month plan is almost four thousand dollars that's how it is out there with digicel company mm -hmm. so i just text miss Bev to let you know that um not at home not where the internet is so so and so on i didn't even know that she sent credit to my phone i didn't is a text message I got from her and my WhatsApp. I get my niece did tap it up and I get the text message. And when I check it out, I say, What? No. I saw the tap up and I was saying, Who oh, sent credit for me? Because I didn't know who sent credit for me. And I was wondering because I did ask my niece and so on, but they didn't come forward. And I was saying, Who oh, sent credit? And then I get the message you now, it means me Bev production. And I am here again low low because sometimes you know you're not working so what then give you and your pinch and pinch it's finished so sometimes you're left broke so i am broke is my broke moment now and i am saying what yeah i don't go down the bottom house where the internet is so i get hot spot from my granddaughter and sometimes i don't have any hot spot so me can hardly do what me do so miss bev production no um know that i don't have any uh, you know i say it Say I don't have any tap up on my phone. I don't have an, any plan. And guess what? I didn't even know that Miss Bev sent tap up to my phone last night. I didn't know because I get at spot from my granddaughter. So I was on it until I went to, to, to sleep. And I didn't check my phone this morning for anything. Because I didn't expect any tap up. So I didn't check it. So I was here now. And let me just say, what's your... Ask my granddaughter. Say, can you give me a little time and you, you know at spot you're not getting at spot from another person's phone it run down their battery so she turned on the hot spot and then i see a voice message from miss bev production i listen and say hi beverly hope you are feeling okay and you know blessing me hope because because of the flu and encouraging me and begin me up same time and asking me if i did get the credits i was shocked so after listening to the voice message now upon two messages and when i check messages i see that miss bev production has Tap me up with Jamaican 3000 hard. Can you imagine? And that's what I did get the other day. And I served me a long time. Because Bev Brown not to pinch and squeeze. When we can put on one week plan, we put on three days plan and take time rotate, rotate. Yeah, man. Bev Brown not to do our thing. So bless up yourself every time it's Bev production. Sometimes people do good for me and we not talk until when they dead. Then pass on. We go say, it's it, man. Big them up. Big up yourself every time. My independent Miss Bev production own never look down on us back then or even now never think of yourself higher than anyone just as though you see her laughing talking enjoying having fun that's a pleasant person that i know back then until now that's how she is she's not pretending that's how she is always laughing i have never seen miss Beth production back said no she was she has always have a pleasant smile on her face not a frown always laughing 
yeah that's her thank you every time it's Bev production god bless you and bless what you're doing for your student and the teaching that you're giving them and the concern and the care and everything god bless you man god bless you and big up yourself every time yeah man bev brown said that so remember to like my video and share my video and those who have subscribed to bev brown channels please do so yeah man i miss bev time that this you know not bev brown time to big up miss bev production because she done so much for bev brown which many of you can't know without i telling you and those who watch her channel will see that yes she was doing a project for me yeah i was repairing repairing my place and the thing was so expensive i could not finish and it was stressing me out and i just sent it and book back yeah the people repairing finish everything done and bev brown back in her home again giving god thanks and praise so sometimes bev brown may have her done moment you know because of used to work and not working again and things getting higher and higher and higher every time you go this race that race and you know so god is so good god is so good and i'm telling you that yesterday i was here and i my um, friend my long time friend she not living around here anymore she came by a lot of times just drive past and stop and say where are you and gone again and yesterday she showed for me and they drive past and when she stopped passing back she stopped and said i said don't come no further because i have the floor i don't want to catch it you know and she was there we was talking 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 until she was going away and she just said miss brown hold this car so she called me you now miss brown and me take it and say thank you god bless you you know because me also bless her up when i'm working and she's not working i bless her up so you have to do the good you you do it come right back to you yeah sometimes not from those who you do it you know from others and i and I said, thank you so much. God bless you, my darling, because I was so broke. And she went away. And I mean, I went, went inside and opened the, the money. I thought it was $500. When I look, it's two $500, $1,000. And believe me, Bev Brown was very broke. Yes, man. Every dollar me have went done. And, but me never stress over it. You know? No, me not stress over it. Me not have any money. Me don't stress over it. Then what time? It might stress me if my clinic time is coming up. And I say, see that man, money low. No money, you know. Because me no want miss me clinic. And guess what? Tomorrow is my clinic day. So she blessed me with that. And my daughter at home here would say, Mommy, when I said to her, I said, no, it's my clinic day. And he said, why is the clinic day, Mommy? And don't worry, it's bill time. And she have to pay up her internet bill and light bill and so on so she said mommy i'll do me low what me have to do something you're going to the clinic so instead of she give me two thousand where she not have because she have her children and going to school and it's very hectic she can't just give me one with the one mommy gets you see oh god good one one cocoa full basket yeah man so peace out baby bro now bored bored who know anymore god is good and sometimes when we are down to our we must always remember say there is a god and he said he will never leave us nor forsake us because when i went around the back i said father i am broke and i must go to the clinic tuesday so i leave everything into your hands that's what i said to god you know yeah man and quick time the girl just come you know how much time she come here and she never blessed with anything no she no blessed with anything years up and years she come in never and i am wondering she just take out that and bless me so who do it no god tell her say look here you're passing through bless bev brown with a thousand dollar and she blessed me with it at me say sophia god work miracles in look how many time my friend passed through and passed through and call and just stop and talk and laugh and gone and all of a sudden she just come and hand this to me who sent art with it for me no god God is good all the time and all the time. God is excellent. Peace out. Bev Brown said that. Love you guys. Big up yourself, Miss Bev Production.